From how Electro-type Pokemon generate electricity, to why Regigigas have slow start as an ability in the first place, I will be answering 10 questions about Pokemon that's extremely hard to answer. Uh, hey there everybody, my name is Craig, and over there is my co-host Longboy. Oh, hello! Longboy will be reading out the questions, and I will be doing the answering. But, before I answer any of the questions, I always have one of my friends say their answers first. Let's see who's our guest today. I am Decidueye, the coolest looking Pokemon out of all the Alola region. And the most competitive too. You are not competitive Decidueye. You have a lot more weaknesses than the other two. Also I chose Paprio. You, you disgust me Craig. You disgust me so so much. I want to get to the questions right away. Hmm. Fine, if you insist. <clears throat> Why does Regigigas have a slow start ability in the first place? Long ago, Regigigas was a mighty titan that pulled continents with ropes and not breaking a single sweat. How amigo? Caffeine. Regigigas went out early in the morning every day to get a nice mocha with two shots of caffeine. But it didn't sit well later, and all of the body in Regigigas was slowly shutting down. Are you really going with that answer? Yes, Craig. Yes. <sighs> well, here's a real answer why Regigigas has slow stars and ability. The answer to why Regigigas has slow star as an ability is more of how and when. Regigigas was a colossal Pokemon that existed over millions of years ago by pulling the lands and continents to make the Pokemon world as we know it, along with creating the Reggie Trio as well. This took all of Regigigas' strength and was put into deep sleep in the Snow Point Temple of the Sinnoh region. After it was awakened, its mobility and attack was very hard and slow, which is now known as Slow Start. Ugh. Craig, are you saying that Regigigas' slow start ability is just Regigigas waking up from a nap from millions of years ago? Like, would you get slow start if you woke up one million years ago? Hmm. Maybe. But I think I would like to get uh, some caffeine if they if they have them a million years from now. <laughs> Why can Gastly can learn Ice Punch, but Kiram can't? Wait, Gastly, a ball of gas can throw Ice Punch, but Kiram, a Pokemon with an Ice Typing, cannot learn Ice Punch. Sorry, Decidueye, but that's actually kind of true. Well, in order to understand that, we need to dive deep into the two Pokemon's anatomy. Let me explain. In the diamond entry for Ghastly, 95% of its body is composed of gas. So, in order for Ghastly to learn Ice Punch, it must have to be made up of some sort of an icy gas. What is it? Vaporized liquid nitrogen or liquid nitrogen, even though it's mostly gas, but unless you kind of do some evaporation, it actually freezes under negative 300 to 400 degrees Celsius. Kiram on the other hand, well, look at its arms. They're too short to throw a punch, since Kiram's body is based off of a T-Rex. Even when it's black and white Kiram, it still can't throw a punch. <laughs> What's the difference between a mythical and a legendary Pokemon? The difference between a mythical and a legendary Pokemon is how you obtain them. You can only get a mythical Pokemon by certain events as a legendary Pokemon that can be found by regular normal gameplay, stat-wise or not. Actually, you're right. I am? Yes. How does a Pokemon change form and how does it do it? You know, ever since Ash Greninja came into the Cults region, you think there might be a chance for me to become Ash Desidui? No, I don't think so. Hold on, hold on. 
Wait, you, you, you can't leave the stage just yet. Oh, I see. It seems that you don't want me to go into a new form. Huh? Well, I guess you can take this. Uh, take what? This! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, uh, dude, are you alright? Nah, I'm alright. Uh. A Pokemon changes form either to adapt or to defend. Like the regional variants of Alola, some Pokemon live in parts of regions that are too uncomfortable, so they force to adapt into habitats, which becomes the Alolan forms they are. Some Pokemon like Deoxys, Greninja, Minior, Wishwashi, they change forms to level the battling field. Others like Castform, Rotom, Silvalli, or Corio, and Arceus, just to name a few, they can all change types and or rather stay in one form or change into another. I'm tired. Why does Cosmom weigh so much when it's so small? It's because of all that Rotom Pokedex's fault. Ever since Rotom came inside, the Pokedex is a disaster. You got no national decks, Mega Evolutions were terrifying, and the decks entries were dark, amigo. Oh, so terrifying all because of Rotom. Hey, you wanna hear something? Rotom is in a Pokedex, but it doesn't have its own entry. Irony, right? When I first heard the question, it was actually quite hard to be honest. But in the end, it actually makes sense. You see, Cosmoum is based off of a star formation. Let's break it down by starting off with Cosmog. Cosmog is based off of a molecular cloud, a type of nebula like its real counterpart. And the time for Cosmog evolving into Cosmoum is how long a molecular cloud forms into a star. And that's an extremely long amount of time because for Cosmog to evolve into Cosmoam is at level 43. And stars are extremely heavy and dense with an estimate of a mass of 15 octillion kilograms at least. That's kind of like a guess. And the size is probably how we see a star in the distance. Decidui, are you even going to get up? No, I'm going to lay down here until I get all my energy back. Can't Ninja Queen breed? Of all the Pokemon that can breed, even the genderless can breed. You got babies, legendaries, mythicals, and ultra beast Pokemon that cannot breed. But then you have Nidorina and Nidor Queen, two ordinary Pokemon that cannot breed. Is this intentional? No, it's Metapause. Yeah. Menopause is when an older woman, usually around the age of 51, stops having menstrual stuff. So from this point on, she can no longer breed or be pregnant. It's a complex mixture of hormonal changes, so in a nutshell, when a woman gets too old, bye bye babies, I don't make you anymore, or, or something like that. But what about Nidorina? Well, there is a thing called early menopause, which only affects 1% of women at the age of 30. But like I said, 1% is a rare chance. But for Pokemon on the other hand, maybe just for Nidorina and Nidoqueen, or something like that, maybe the risks are a little bit more higher than usual. I don't know. We don't exist. Ah, ah off the presses. Okay. What makes a Pokemon Generate electricity! Whoa, you're expecting me to know something about electric Pokemon? Well, this is why I brought my good friend here, Pikachu, from Pika Pals, which you should highly subscribe. Yeah, I'd highly recommend that. So, how do you actually, like, generate electricity? Well, uh, <laughs> funny story is that uh, I haven't done a single electric move for as long as I can imagine. I mean, we're domesticated Pokemon, we don't use moves. Are you saying... Are you saying... That you have not used an entire single electric move 
In your entire life, amigo? You're starting to scare me. Use it! Zap me! Zap me! The way that Pokemon generate electricity, most electric type Pokemon, actually uses cells that's even in your body right now. Like how you, uh, touch someone and you make a spark. These cells inside of an electric Pokemon are called electrolytes, by polarizing to create small charges individually. But what really gets that shocking feeling is when the electrolytes in their organ stack and create powerful charges. The more stacked, the more zaps. In fact, Pokemon that are not electric types can actually have electrolytes in them. Mostly, when you have electrolytes in your hands, you can make a thunder punch, or have electrolytes in your gums to make Thunder Fang. Uh, Pikachu, wh what are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be here for Pika Pals? Nope. Desiduai called me here. Also, Craig, I got a question. What is it? Where's Trico? Trico? Uh, well, did, didn't I say he was gonna get some milk and cookies? He's been gone since September. Where is he? We fired him. Yeah, we fired him. What? Where'd you fire him? We found out some inappropriate stuff about him, so we kinda told him that he had to leave. But luckily, we're gonna get ourselves a new Trico. He's gonna be debuting in the seventh episode, so, uh. uh okay. okay, I see. <sighs> you know what? It was nice meeting you, but now I'm gonna have to go. Bye! Why do some Pokemon only evolve by training? Because some Pokemon don't like you! Um, that wasn't very nice, this do I. Craig, the world is not nice to us. <sighs> hey, um, I'm gonna go to the bathroom if you need me. Sure, m my quote is coming up next. Sadly, there is no definitive answer, but probably one of the best answers is experience. You see, it helps us and Pokemon too, for there is so much one trainer that a Pokemon can experience. By being traded to another trainer, they will be able to learn a lot more, causing them to evolve. It's kind of like a, hey, I can be part of your team too. How about I evolve for you? And, or maybe it's to encourage other trainers to interact with other trainers. I mean, how else do we have version exclusives? <sighs> yeah, I, I'm really great with words. Too bad I'm taking transitional studies. What is a Masuda method? Well, um, uh, Desiduai isn't back from the bathroom, so I guess I'll try to, uh, act like him. Ja, <clears throat> that Masuda method. What is that, amigo? Math? Physics? Japanese quantum theory? No, I give up. Were you just impersonating me when I was gone? Yes. You need practice. The Masuda method is a fan-made term which describes a way to obtain shiny Pokemon very easily since Generation 4. Ooh, nice! The Masuda method involves breeding two Pokemon created in two different games in separate languages. In fact, the Masuda method was named after game director Kinichi Masuda back in the making of Diamond and Pearl. In fact, he even introduced this! That's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> so, Craig, how many questions do you have to answer? Um, just one more. One more? Yep. Let's do this! Let's go! What? <clears throat> Alright, final question. Why do steel types have so much resistance?
resistances. It's all about the defense. You see, steel types are the strongest type defensively, with resisting over 10 types. And because, well, they're not very effective, and poison having no effect whatsoever. The steel types also have the highest defense stat in the games, average wise too, you know. Although, it kinda hinders their speed a lot. I mean, you have fighting types and fairy types being extremely competitive when great with attack. But, if you wanna have a good defense, you gotta at least have a steel type, like Stack Attacker. He has extremely huge defense with uh, not so great speed. You know? And once again, you are right. Yes! I am totally right once again! So, you know, that, that was kind of fun. Yup, it was fun answering everybody's questions. Oh, look at that! The little Rowlet figure! Yeah, and, and little, and yeah, and that thing, yeah, and. Why is there no the Sid White figure? Huh? Oh, then Cinnamon one? Yeah. Is there a, uh, like, a Primarina and me coming out? I have no idea. <sighs> On this... I'm oh, there's... Oh, no, you're not, home. huh? Yep. Hi, my name's Craig. And I'm Longboy! The ferret! It was fun making Craig's Corner, where we get to answer 10 of the most... Not asked about questions, but, uh, who knows, may maybe it might be important. And we want to know, are there any questions that you would like us to answer? We would like to answer them! It's free! Just like in our banner! You see, other Pokemon, like at today's guest, the Sidoi, we've also got some other characters that will be joining us later on if we have enough questions and episodes to make. So go ahead! Don't be shy! Tell us your questions right now! You can do it in the comment section down below! Or, if you got some other questions that you want to talk to us, you could always go to these links right here. Go to our Discord page, which is right here, which you see on the screen. And if you just want to have some ordinary fun time, we upload on Instagram very daily. Well then, bye now!